There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are... biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frobert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too.
Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Is this thing working? Shepard, you're a miracle worker. Jack? Shepard? Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh. Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. Hey, Edie. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well... I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. I really think we're getting closer. Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Work with Commander Shepard? That's pretty bad. Yeah. Hey. 
Let me know when we've got a new way off this station. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes... It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. I like it. Keeps them safer, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? I've seen firsthand what Cerberus does to people they promised not to harm. What? You see the scars, Rodriguez? Come on, take a good look. Cerberus did this to me when I was half your age. Ugh. Surrender and your meat on a slab. We're trying to save your asses. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go! in the atrium.
Everyone okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't watch her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. I know what they're doing, though. You need to hurry. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on a shield technology. I don't know who you are, but stay back. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi-core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold off your guns for hours. Sanders, this is Shepard. I've got some scared students hiding behind a shield prototype. How do we know it isn't just Cerberus rigging the voice? You could test for distortion peaks, Isaac. Like I did when you faked a voice print to break curfew. And if that's Octavia's shield, remind her that I docked her half a grade because application of non-concurrent forces overloaded the emitters. Thanks, Sanders. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Now they're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides... I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to... Stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Yes, Shepard? How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me. 
even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Carry on, Edie. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard. You know? I know. Commander, something else you need? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. 
Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it.